Welcome back. It's our spring cleaning special. And now that Shona has shown us how to clean our burnt pots properly, she's back to tackle more of those hard to clean items. You know those things we put off cleaning because maybe we just think it's too hard or we just don't even know how to do it. So Shones, you're going to start with glass vases and decanters. Yeah, so this specifically is shout out to anybody that has really hard water. If you've lived anywhere in the uh, world <laughs> that has really hard water, you'll know that inside these hard, these unusual shaped items that we have, calcium buildup can happen. So you can wash it with soap and water, you'll get the wine out of it or the flour gunk out of it, but you'll get those white streaks and white rims that no matter what you do, they will not go away. Well, I got news for you. It is so beyond easy to get rid of them. This is a decades old restaurant tip that goes back for me a really, really long time because we have a lot of these uh, decanters in the restaurant world. Wine decanters. You know what you use? What? Denture cleaner tab. <gasps> yeah. Really? They will take away, all you do is fill it with water and you drop these fizzy little tabs in. Doesn't matter what wow. brand you get, so don't go spending a lot of money and you drop those tabs in, let them do their thing, just let them sit there, and it will totally clear away all of that calcium buildup. Okay, what about yeah. those silicone bags um, that if you use them, you're concerned about cleaning them out and making sure they, they get dried properly so that they don't end up being moldy. What tips do you have for us there? Yeah, I think this is the thing that's keeping people away from totally converting from one single use uh, zipper top yeah. sealable bags. I was totally one of them too. And I thought, no, I'm gonna figure this out. Now I'm 100% converted. So here's the tip to clean them. We've learned actually during this COVID that when it comes to washing our hands or washing things, that it's the amount of time the soap is touching the uh, germs, let's say. And so we want, so what I do is I fill the bags as soon as, like I freeze my uh, chicken breasts in these, raw chicken breasts, et cetera. When I take them out, I fill it with warm water. I put a bunch of dish soap into it and I seal them up and I let them sit in my sink while I cook dinner. And that way I know that the warm water and the soap is really soaking these bags. Mm -hmm. Then of course I dump it out and wash them freshly again. And then you're right, the big deal is drying them and they flop over and they don't stand up and everything. Well, you know, these. this is a pot lid holder accordion. I got oh. it from Ikea for, um, I had it so long, probably uh, definitely under $10. Mm -hmm. And all I did, I figured out to pull out one of these. And then I just propped the bags over top of the little spindles that would normally hold the, um, you know, the pot lids. And it keeps them wide open. It doesn't matter what size of bag it is, because you can, you can make it bigger or smaller. And that way they just sit there and they air dry all naturally. And they actually dry really quick because all the moisture and the water drips down, the air gets in and they're ready to use again. Oh, you were so smart, Shona. Let's move on to the range hood filter now. It's easy to overlook this one because it, it gets greasy and it's really hard to get it clean. What tips have you got for us? I bet you not only is it overlooked, I bet you there's people out there who didn't even know you should clean it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, they're really easy to remove. Super, they always have a little tab to pull them out. Just pull that tab, they slip right out. Your range hood might have one or two. The one at this house that I'm at has one. This is it. It doesn't get easier, people. Soap and water, that's it. <laughs> Throw it in, get again, hot water and soap. Toss it into the sink, let it soak because there is going to be grease. So you want a dish soap that will really break down that grease. And uh, that's it. Like pull it out, rinse it off, air dry it, dry it as much as you can, but there's little crevices. So you're probably gonna have to air dry it a little bit. If it is really, really bad, it'll really stink. So this will also help keep some odors out of your kitchen. But if it's really bad, you may have to wash it a second time. Or I've even heard of people throwing it in their dishwasher. Mm -hmm. So that's all you have to do and you pop it back up there. It takes like minutes. Minutes, people, clean this. Mm. <laughs> Crystal clean, I love it. And you know what, soap and water is often the answer for so many of our things. You just gotta get them out and get them into like soaking them in soap and water and it will be miraculously cleaned up. Shona, thank you so much for all that product testing. You're welcome. Loved it. You're welcome. Lots of great Thanks. cleaning tips here that we can all use in our homes this spring. Thank you for